Welcome back. Well, the stock of the day really has to be Bharat Ford. The stock is flying away in today's trading session. Very, very strong showing in quarter four. And the street likes the commentary as well. That's uh, coming in from uh, the management. Well, uh, let's get straight to the management then. Uh, we have Mr. Kalyani who joins us uh, on the show. Hi, Mr. Kalyani. First of all, congratulations. A good set of numbers. The street likes the guidance as well. Now, on this sort of a base, what kind of a revenue growth can you deliver on the base that you've delivered for FI 20 year four? So for FI25, what is the revenue growth and also the defense vertical? That's picked up big time. That's already clocking close to around 1,500 crores in FI24. For FI25, what's the contribution from there? Well, uh, you know, we have almost a 5,000 crore uh, order book right now. 80% uh, of that is exports. And remember, that does not include uh, the Indian artillery gun orders, which I have yet to finalize. So that's, uh, you know, once that happens, that is likely to be another two, 3,000 crores. So we have a very strong order book. Uh, we have developing large uh, export customers and a lot of new technologies uh, in our own company. And the big advantage is uh, the government of India's big push uh, that has been given for exporting defense products is really helping. So what, what could be the execution? So order book is looking good. Plenty of opportunities ahead as well. Revenue as a, on a consolidated basis and from the defense vertical in particular, since you're sitting on a big order book and since you're going to get more orders as well. I would say we would grow anywhere between 50 to 60 percent on uh, uh, this year's, I mean last year's uh, uh, execution. So that's on the defense vertical, right, sir? 50 to 60 percent is on the defense part of the business. Defense vertical, exactly. And on the Not consolidated, for the consolidated company, what should you do? I think this year you did high teens. Uh, what are you looking at in terms of a growth for the company on the whole? It should be pretty similar. See, we have, uh, we still have, uh, uh, we have three verticals which are now kicking in very well. Our component business is doing well. Uh, defense has uh, really all start uh, things up uh, in a very good way. Uh, our industrial vertical, which is our casting business, has grown 30%, and we expect to see similar growth uh, coming in this year. So, uh, and we still have two more uh, verticals, which are part of our whole, uh, you know, transitioning or pivoting uh, away from just being a component maker. And that is one of them is our overseas uh, subsidiaries in the aluminum business. And we hope by end of this year, we will have both of them making profits. And uh, our uh, electric mobility vertical, which will also, I think, start showing some traction. Mm. Uh, Mr. Uh, Kalyani, hi. Uh, <clears throat> good afternoon, Prashant here. Uh, just to go back to the defense business, uh, you know, so you're saying uh, revenues were about 465 crores. You're saying you'll grow for 50 to 60 percent in FY25 on top of that. The revenues on Q4 what two or two and that the number you gave is for Q4, not for the Q4. whole year. Q4, correct. No, uh, you're saying that you'll you'll be able to grow. Year, revenues were about uh, 1,500 crores, and I think we will do about 60% uh, more than that for the next year. What about uh, at the EBITDA level? Because I think, as you say. Uh, while, while top line growth has been pretty strong at an operating level, uh, for the quarter, uh, the, the business did about what? Uh, I think about 12 odd crores or so. Uh, could you give us a sense of what the number may look like for the full year? No, the EBITDA, EBITDA is very strong. Don't worry. <laughs> could you give us a, could you, could you guide, uh, guide us, sir? Uh, like the top line, which you said? What? The defense business is better than the EBITDA in the component business. Uh, so, on the whole, for the market, can you tell us what's changed in the last three months? Because when you came out with your Q3 numbers, you had said, expect the growth momentum, momentum to moderate in both domestic and the export market in FI25. The oil and gas segment is weak. There is a decline in U.S. Class A production volumes, etc. And now you're guiding for, you know, significant growth in FI25. So, on the whole, you know, there seems to be a big change in the body language, the management commentary. So can you tell us what's changed, sir, in the last three months? And three things have changed. Number one, in the last three months, we got almost something like uh, $500 million of export contracts on defense. 
So that's, that was a big change. And uh, as far as the U.S. market is concerned, the big change there is all the OEMs that we are supplying to all have given very positive uh, guidance going forward. So if you see the guidance of uh, Volvo, Daimler, uh, Packard, uh, all these guys have given an extremely positive guidance, which was not so, uh, you know, three, four months ago. Three, four months ago, the general tune was that U.S. was heading for a recession. So, and also we have been able to increase our market shares uh, in that market. So, overall, everything is looking good. Uh, we are growing in the past car business. Uh, and, you know, basically, if you see Bharat Forge as a company, our whole strategy has been to uh, develop technology and create leadership with that technology and innovation in creating new products. And I think uh, defense is a good example of how we've been able to do it. Of course, we've been working hard at it for more than seven, eight years. It, it hasn't happened overnight. Uh, similarly, uh, in our normal business, uh, we have a lot of new things happening, uh, which you will see in the next uh, few quarters. And uh, uh, we are very uh, clear that we will turn around our overseas business this year completely. Uh, so the U.S. business as well and the international business will be a big turnaround in F525, Mr. Kalyani? The U.S. business uh, will uh, turn, turn, the US turn positive? The U.S. business will make profits in the quarter four. Uh, the European business will make profit for the year, sure. For the year, okay. And just to go back to the defense point, that which you said, you told us that it's much better than the... Uh, than the than the other segments, could you? Is it possible to put a broad sort of ballpark number there, sir, on the EBITDA side want, on on the defence? I, I would not like to put a number. I, all I can tell you is, in this business, if if you own the IP and you develop your own technology, hmm. then you can your your profitability is much higher. If you are going to do this product with somebody else's technology, then your profits are much much lower, which is what you see in the industry in general. So I think in our case, all the products are our own. We have the IP, we develop the technology, and therefore I think we do very well with our costs and uh, with the way our margins come out. Okay, all right, uh, Mr. Kalani, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Uh, appreciate you joining in. The market likes uh, what it's hearing and what you, of course, already said, 15% higher on the stock. Uh, it's uh, looking very, very strong. 1425, uh, 1430 uh, is where Bharat Forge is now trading at. You know, the other big uh, mover today.